I'm Rachel Hazel of The Travelling Book Binder. How to use a glue brush. A proper glue brush can make you feel like a true artisan, one in a line of book binders stretching far back into the past. This one has hog bristles bound with wire so that you can stipple and stamp without the brush splaying out. It has a round handle which you grip firmly like this, which rotates as you work to get an even coverage of glue. For the sort of books I create, case bindings, limited editions, sculptural structures, PVA glue is great. It's non-toxic, inexpensive, easily available, dries quickly, dries clear and is water-based. First check you have everything you need to hand. Waste paper, glue brush, grey board, cut and marked with the grain direction, scissors, glue pot, bone folder and maybe something to wipe gluey fingers with. Load up the glue brush. Starting in the centre, spread the glue outwards in a starburst pattern. Rotate the brush in between strokes. Then fill in the gaps, going right up to and over the edges. As you're working with starburst strokes, away from the edge, the glue is less likely to seep underneath. Don't panic about the paper curling. This confirms the grain direction. The paper will relax again flat as the moisture in the glue is absorbed. Accepting that you're going to get one gluey finger, pick up the glued paper, whisk away the waste, fold it in half, gluey side in, and chuck it on the floor. Then set the wet cover paper back down on a clean, dry surface. Place the grey board right in the centre, checking the gap is even all the way round. Cut each of the corners at an angle of 45 degrees. Leave a gap one and a half times the thickness of the board. Using all of your fingers, draw over the long sides first, moulding the paper around every contour as you go. Now for the nip and tuck. With your nail or a bone folder, prepare for the turn-in by pressing this bit of paper right up to meet the board edge. Do this on all four corners. Then draw over the short sides. Use your bone folder to tweak and smooth, removing any excess glue. Press between waste paper and flat, smooth boards or heavy books overnight. It's very important that you wash the brush immediately as PVA will clog it up permanently if allowed to dry. Under running water, work the glue out of the bristles by stippling against the sink base. Once all the glue is removed, shake out as much excess water as possible and lay the brush on its side to dry. Ta-da! Covered boards. Happy gluing. 